Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash surviving infidelity, where a cheating wife's life is now falling apart and she won't even acknowledge it. Wow, what an idiot. Anyways, let's begin. Today's story was posted by Reddit user Instinct013. Hi, everyone. Just recently joined this sub because unfortunately, I got cheated on. Forgive me for any spelling errors, as Dutch is my first language, so I'm not native in English. TLDR at the bottom. I'm a male, 32, married to my wife, 27, for almost 6 years now. We've been together for 8 years and 3 months. We are living together for 7 years now. It was in my opinion always great. I really feel like we were the perfect couple. We both have a car, good jobs, stable finances, and we bought a house 5 years ago. February 2022. I unfortunately, very unexpectedly, lost my mother to a heart attack. What followed were very rough months for me, but also for my wife who was also very close to my mother. And by rough, I mean really rough. In six months' time, we only went out like two times. We always stayed in just relaxing on the couch and chilling or watching TV. I wasn't, due to circumstances, happy, but I expected we would get through this. D-Day, as I see everyone call it, was five weeks ago. My wife went out drinking with three male friends from work about five minutes away from our house. I was like, okay, cool, but I'm going to bed soon. Middle of night, 12.30 a.m., she came home with the three guys, I know all of them, and said she was going out in the city with them. All of them? <laughs> I didn't like it, but couldn't stop her. Everything closes at 4 a.m., but even though it's a 15-minute ride, she came home at 5.30? That's when my suspicions began, even though before this night, I never mistrusted her. Today, four weeks ago, she left the entire Sunday, said she was going to some carnival with her mom. I did not trust it, but what can you do? She even left without saying goodbye while I was taking a shower. Later that day, when she came home, she entered our house crying. My first response was, Honey, come here, what happened? Did something happen? What got you so upset? Her literal first words at that moment were, I want a divorce. After that, we talked a bit about it, both very emotional. I straight up asked her if she cheated, but she said no. She told me she's been unhappier for a longer period of time and hence the divorce. She literally never told me something was wrong with our relationship, so this came as a complete shock to me. Anyway, after the talk she left, and she lives at her mom's house now. Four days later I saw her again, because we had a dog for which I alone cannot take care of, and neither can she at her mom's house. So our dog stays at an aunt's house now. Anyway, because I saw her, I confronted her about cheating again, and this time she admitted it. She told me she cheated on me for the entire week, since she went drinking until the week later, later, when she left home. She said she thinks she is in love with him. I asked what's so great about him, and the only thing she says is, yeah, we have a good connection and spark. So that's it, I suppose. She also said she feels like she is going through some sort of midlife crisis, doesn't know what to do with her life, doesn't know what she wants. In my opinion, she's going crazy. She dyed her hair purple, and all out of nowhere, she signed up for lessons to drive a motorcycle. The first week or maybe two weeks after I tried reconciling, if that's the right word, but she wouldn't budge. Every serious message I send her gets straight up ignored. Casual messages I do get a reply on, but it's short responses with a certain arrogance, I guess. I seriously do not recognize my wife anymore. Her personality seems to have changed in literally one week's time. She is treating me as if I never existed in her life and like I'm some piece of garbage. Is this some kind of defense mechanism to make it easier for her, pushing her problems towards the future? Or could it be that she really changed and feels this way now? How on earth is this possible? I mean, I know falling in love is an awesome feeling, but what happens with her in a few months when the honeymoon phase with this guy is over and she really wakes up from it all? I've been experiencing a lot of mixed feelings. Really a lot. I resent her for the fact she cheated on me and I'm really, really disappointed. But I also realize and know that the foundation and basis of our marriage was always great. From D-Day to today, we are five weeks further. She has still not officially filed for divorce and neither have I. I'm not sure, but I'm fairly certain she is still seeing the guy she cheated on me with. To be honest, at this moment, I'm torn between wanting to save our marriage and just ending. At this moment, I honestly do not care if we get back together or if we divorce. So I honestly don't know what to do. If I file for divorce now, I might regret this in the future for being too fast, I suppose. But I also cannot keep living in this sort of limbo, in which I am officially still married, but she already left. TLDR, six years married. Wife cheated on me five weeks ago, she lives with mom, still sees guys she cheated me with, but we are both not filing for divorce yet. Now for OP's update. Okay, so yesterday I made some calls. 
In the Netherlands, we have something called a mediator. They handle all aspects of divorce. So this mediator does the lawyer's work, financial, emotional talk, etc. It's like an all-in-one kind of person that helps two people with arranging the divorce. Today we had the talk with this mediator. Unfortunately, my soon-to-be ex's her car broke down, so I had to pick her up, and yes, I really had to. For this all to work and get the divorce through this mediator, it is crucial that both me and my soon-to-be ex are at the meetings with him. Anyway, talk went pretty good and the way I expected. We both expressed our feelings about wanting to get divorced, but the infidelity was never mentioned. This mediator is neutral and does not pick sides, so I did not think it was worth mentioning. Also, in the Netherlands, we have no laws against cheating. She still has the same rights that she would have had if she did not cheat. So after the mediator left, we are still sitting together at the table, barely talking. Only distraction we have is from our cats running around. So after a few minutes, I ask her, have anything left to say? To which her response was no. So I said, okay, then I think you can go now because I don't want you here. Okay, can you take me home? I said, no. How you're getting home is your own problem. I am not in the mood to drive 30 minutes taking you home. After this, she looked a bit emotional. I think she expected me to drive her home, as normally in the past I did everything for her. So after that, she called her mom, who's picking her up in about an hour from now. She is out of the house now. She said, I'm going to take a walk for about an hour until mom gets here to pick me up. While she left, she still looked hurt and visibly emotional. But I'm staying strong. I still notice a lot of strange behavior on her part, and I think she is still in the affair fog. Despite everything, I still love her for who she was, but for now I am staying strong, and I'm treating her as if she means nothing to me. Edit. Actually, as of right now she doesn't mean anything to me. She simply is not the woman anymore that I loved and was loyal to. Anyway, for now, that was the update. I'll keep you posted in the future, and once again, everyone, for the massive response and help on my previous post. And now for OP's final update. Hey everyone, you all have been an amazing help in my situation. I must admit, I'm feeling very tired mentally, but apart from that, I'm doing better than I would have expected after only six weeks. I have a question about my soon-to-be ex-wife and her current behavior. For the question, you don't need the whole story, but feel free to read my previous posts. For those unaware of my situation, long story short, my wife cheated. She left me and we are getting divorced. This was six weeks ago. She claims to be very much in love with her AP, and he is in love with her. I strongly believe she is in a fair fog. Okay, now to my actual question. Is it normal that my wife, soon-to-be ex, treats everyone around her like trash? Well, except for her AP and her own parents, I suppose. She is obviously treating me bad. She is treating me with zero respect and as if I was the worst husband ever. She claims she's been unhappy for several years, which I believe is complete bullshit. Anyway, to be honest, I don't care about what she's doing to me anymore. It's her life she's destroying, not mine. But it's also affecting other people. My father sends her the sweetest message he had ever sent in his entire life, and she didn't even reply with a thank you, just nothing. After my mom passed last February, my wife would regularly take my dad to an amusement park that's close by. They both have subscriptions for it, so they could go quite often. My dad really loved her a lot, and I'm watching him age by the hour now, which really hurts me. And my soon-to-be ex-wife doesn't even send a thank you, nothing at all. She left him on read. She was also, and said she wanted to remain, very good friends with my younger sister, but they haven't been in touch for several weeks. Also, my wife was supposed to spend a day today with her best friend, who is a mutual friend of ours, but now she is ignoring her. Her best friend sends several messages to her yesterday, if today was still on, but wife sent no reply. Didn't even bother to read her messages. She also didn't pick up the phone. So today they were supposed to meet. Same story. She doesn't pick up the phone. Her BFF sent one more message asking if she was still coming. No reply. She didn't even read the messages while her WhatsApp status shows she's been online after she sent them. Needless to say, her BFF has been crying all day. She took the day off to spend time with my wife to go shopping and have fun. And now this? Is this in any way normal behavior for someone in the affair fog? Or could this be something else? I don't care what my wife is doing. I'm done with her. But this is just so incredibly sad for her BFF. She's been crying on her couch all freaking day because my wife treats her like this. While I'm typing all this, another question comes to mind. But I think I already know the answer. My soon-to-be ex-wife is going around telling people we split up because we grew apart and she hasn't been happy for several years. I suppose this actually is normal for a cheater? To tell everyone excuses and not being honest about what happened and how they fell in love with someone else? 
Oh, I almost forgot something that I believe is really important. Her BFF, our mutual friend, actually lived with us for about six months from about November 2021 until April 2022. She just got out of a really bad relationship and had nowhere to stay. We have a spare room, so we took her in. Anyway, my wife and BFF literally talks about everything, including our relationship and sex life. Everything. I speak to her BFF every day, and she has been super sweet and totally honest with me. I asked her if any of what my wife said could be true about not being happy with me for a longer period of time. BFF says it's all lies. Never has my wife ever spoken about it or said a single word to her about being unhappy with me. And keep in mind, they told each other everything, but not a single word about being unhappy. So either my soon-to-be ex-wife is just blatantly lying now, I don't know why, maybe to justify her cheating on me and abandoning our marriage? Or perhaps she kept her unhappy feelings a secret for literally everyone except herself. I honestly don't know, but from my experience I never noticed her unhappy with me, and BFF also agrees with this. Many thanks again everyone. The support is amazing, and I would not have been where I am now if it wasn't for your support. OP, the lying, the blame shifting is far for the course with all cheaters. Your soon-to-be ex-wife needs to make it about you, so she doesn't come off as a piece of shit. I was unhappy, is the standard justification for cheating. We've all heard it before. Just know that it will only get better for you from here on, and only worse for her. Good luck, OP. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.